I'm Sophie. I've never actually uploaded a vlog before. Because I've been spending so much time on my fucking yacht and my Lambo and flossing. What's up YouTube? Dubs Hill back again, back with another, another terrible <laughs> episode of Real Talk. In today's episode, I've stumbled across a very, very, what I would call lucky young lady called Sophie. Now Sophie, to me, is your typical Daddy's rich girl, bright orange Lambo, Lambo, fuck off big mansion, swimming pools, private jets, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on. Um, so I've been doing my research and she, she calls herself popular. She has more subscribers than me. Mind you, a lot of YouTube creators do, because uh, I'm quite new here. I am quite new. So hit my subscribe button. No, we'll do that in a bit. We'll do that in a bit. Um, she says she's Miss Popular and she is the queen, the new queen of YouTube. Um, you've probably, your family is probably as wealthy as the fucking queen, but I wouldn't say my personal opinion so far on your four or five videos that you've uploaded, um, and one being an intro to the video I'm gonna talk about, um, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't quite use the word queen. Um, but let's have a look, because I made this video for you guys, as always, to bring you an insight into the world of the lovely Sophie. And thought, so why not show people what it's like to be me? Jesus fucking Christ, did you see that? Tell us, Sophie, what is it like to be you? I am Sophie, young, popular, talented. I am a friend, a daughter, a sister. And a daddy's rich girl. And it might look like I've got it pretty easy. Some would say, yeah, I'll... first impressions, it looks like you got it damn fucking easy, girl. Damn easy! Put this, all these crazy things, private jets, fast cars, beautiful friends, they've made me think, am I happy? It would be hard fucking not to be, wouldn't it? Really. When you're in the middle of a hurricane, you don't get to stop and look around and realise, am I being real? Am I being? You know the Instagram versus reality pictures and videos you see? This was, this kind of reminds me, it massively reminds me of one of those. Although the before and after pictures don't really look much different. Maybe that was a bit below the belt, but it's, it's what I do, man. It's what we do here. That's what you come here for, to hear shit like that. No holds barred, real talk, only the strong survive. Me. I mean, how much Vaseline does one comb into their hair before they get the camera? B-roll, 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 B-roll. I'm Sophie. Yes, you've told us three fucking times so far. Hi Sophie, thanks for introducing yourself. <laughs> Was that really cringe? Should I do that again? I've never actually uploaded a vlog before, but my good friend Ben has been making videos for like ever and they are absolute fire. And thought, just why not show people what it's like to be me? I can't fucking wait. Let's go.
First and foremost, I would consider myself a businesswoman. I'm really smart in business. Everybody in business says I'm really smart in business. I get the impression it's your fucking father that's the smart businessman. And you are what they call the credit card emptier. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's the entrepreneurial type. Maybe she's got several businesses. Maybe I'm just, you know, judging a book by its cover. And I apologize if I am. I'm sure I will learn differently and I'll take it all back. I'll take it all back. Everything I've said so far in this video. Or will I? <laughs> I'm also a model, as you know. There's like hella Insta vibes there and the free clothes are so. Oh no. She's uploaded it. <laughs> That's so tragic. Why are you acting like you didn't want that to happen? You blatantly, blatantly wanted that to happen. Oh, can you believe she's uploaded the pictures? Well, I just want to show you guys what it's like to be me living this hectic lifestyle as a millennial. Define millennial. Define millennial, Sophie. What is your definition of a millennial? Millennial. I'm going to Google it. Millennials. The Federal Reserve Board defines millennials as members of the generation born between 1981 and 1996. Well, I fucking ain't one, am I? Hey guys, so this is where I live. Super big and stuff, but I don't know, like you'll see inside, like it's super old fashioned. Why the fuck would you need a house that big? I mean, that's just, that's just insane. Absolutely insane. And did you notice, did you notice she got everybody else that lives in the house to get their cars off site? So the cleaner, well, they forgot about the cleaner's Golf GTI, didn't they? Yeah, I guess I'm like super, super lucky about all the space and stuff. Dad always gets offended. He's like, it's a whole lot of mansion, so. The, the Golf GTI is still there. Because, I mean, that can't be her. She's got the orange Lambo, you know what I mean? I bet after they cut, she's like, who left a fucking golf out front of my house? I told to move all the shit cars. I mean, what's with the fucking Mac Daddy pimp walking stick? What is with the fucking walking stick? Stuff. Dad always gets offended. He's like, it's a hall, not a mansion, so. <laughs> it's a hall, darling, not a mansion. I bet it has got, I bet your fucking bedroom's the size of a hall. <laughs> this is the library. There's like so many super old books. Which I've never read any of them apart from Spot the Dog and various other um, children's books. I know, I know, it's, it's what I do, innit? It's what I do. From all of our ancestors and things, so it's like not really my vibe, but Cicero and Homery, watch a film on my iPad, or like read Vogue or Cosmopolitan. Fuck, you know, that must have been the first ever iPad. I mean, look, it's got a fucking wooden screen. It's got a wooden screen. Maybe, maybe she's not as wealthy as we thought. This is one of the living rooms, but it's more like the entertainment living room. Dad will like have his friends round and someone will be playing piano. I mean, why? We've established that you suck at piano. Yeah, it was obviously just an ornament for the corner and it would look good and fill that corner. I don't understand why you put us through that, the fact that you can't play the fucking piano. I almost thought that she was gonna do the, the EastEnders song. You know, the EastEnders like um, intro song. And I mean, I don't know why I'm even using two fucking hands because I used to play it with one, with one finger, index finger. It's like fireplace and I just love like, hanging out here when it's cold with a cup of pack of tea. Just bring a boy here and like cuddle, it's like super romantic. This is one of my favorite parts of the house and it's the conservatory. Oh, look at these plants, so dope. It's like super wholesome and like country living vibes. So here's the garden, like dad is like super proud of the garden. Even though he doesn't do it, it's great for sunbathing. Nature like really f makes you feel at one with yourself and stuff. Like just makes me like super chill and like meditative just looking at plants and grass and like pigeons pigeons what 
I can get like the nature thing and the grass and the plants and the flowers, but who the fuck watches pigeons? You know, people kick pigeons. People stand on them. People shunt them out the way. Nobody watches pigeons apart from cats. Be -roll, be -roll, be -roll, be -roll. I'm loving the B-roll in this. There's quite a bit of it, isn't there? Peter McKinnon would be proud, trust me. Love you, Peter. Love you, Peter McKinnon. Big up to you, bro. So here we have um, our cream leather seats. It's from Macau. Um, and their skin is meant to be a lot softer. Well, it fucking ain't now, is it? Because they're on the seats of your jet. So it is really comfortable. I told Dad to go for black, but he pays, he decides. Yeah, you know, let's go through some YouTube basics. I need to make video content that my audience can relate to. I, yeah, I, I don't know anybody that has a cream cow leather sofa in their living room. So it doesn't really resonate with me, but it's not to say there aren't some of you guys out there that have one, maybe a cream leather futon or dining chairs. Daddy pays for fucking everything, doesn't he? Of course he does. This is my dad. He literally grew a million dollar empire from nothing, like literally nothing. I don't know how he did it. We also have two TVs. Um, they're a bit small, but yeah. You're on a fucking aeroplane. How big do you want the television? I'll show you the windows now. It's like a complete blackout. So when we're on a long flight, then at least I can get to sleep. Oh, they're a bit stiff. I mean, isn't that standard on aeroplane? I know even when I've flown on EasyJet, you can shut the fucking blinds to stop the sun coming in the window. You know, clever in business and all that. Just, just a point, an observation. My mum is fit. Like she is literally on fire. Come on then, where's the fucking pictures? Show us your mum. Show us your fit mum. Not for me, obviously. You know, I'm happily engaged to my beautiful fiance, you know, but just obviously for, for my audience, you know. Get your mum out for the lads, come on. Then, that's my mum. <laughs> Don't be a pervert. She was a supermodel back in the days. I really appreciate learning that from her. Oh, the seat belts. So these seat belts are super duper strong. I know loads of people think private jets aren't safe, so I made sure we had like. Oh my god, did you see that seat belt? You lift the tag and it clicks in. Fucking hell. This is where British Airways and everybody got it wrong, didn't they? Really good security and stuff in here. It's, it's like literally impossible to fall out of them. They like clip in so well. Oh, like a seatbelt. Like, I'm not going anywhere. I mean, it, let's just like be a little bit honest about the whole seatbelt, aeroplane, falling out shit. If you do fall out, you're not going to go very far. And number two, it... <laughs> I don't really see the fucking point in seat belts on aeroplanes, to be honest with you. Apart from the fact that if it crashes that you're in your seat so people can obviously identify who you are from your dental records. <laughs> Which is just something I heard a long time ago, that that's why they have the seat belt. So if the plane actually does crash, that you will be in your seat. And obviously they can allocate your ticket to where your seat is to identify the body. Sorry, a bit, um, but um, it's not like it's gonna stop you going through the fucking windscreen, is it? I mean, come on, come on. This like, this be real about this. Like, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, what a fucking shame. Going to the gym. Going to the gym. Do you think when they filmed this video that part of the criteria from her to her videographer and the editors was 
All you need to do is make sure you get as much fucking cinematic B-roll of me personally in this vlog. Because there seems to be an extended amount, you know? Maybe that's what they're like. Maybe that was the way they wanted to build the video, but it just, just seems like an awful lot. I mean, even the gym, the boxing thing just now, it just went on. For, for, I was fucking knackered just watching it. I feel like if you're powerful in your body, then you can be powerful in anything. Let me just write this down two seconds. The fucking pen gone. Powerful in your body can be powerful in anything. If you throw a good punch, you throw a good punch at life. What was that? If you throw a good punch, you can throw a good punch at life. That's it. That's the fucking recipe. That's the recipe. Now I'd like to introduce you to my personal trainer, Lewis. He is like super dope for everything he does, nice. like boxing, rowing, like you do it all. So yeah, tell them a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I've been a boxing trainer now for about two years. Um, my youngest client's five, my oldest client's 72. Teach it to all fitness levels, um, all disabilities. All tell them about the celebrities. Well, I will if you fucking shut up and give me a chance. Is it me or did he look a little bit like fucking cringe like at the start i can't really talk about that unfortunately it's a bit confidential he teaches loads of celebrities as i was being modest <laughs> yeah okay so i work in three other gyms as well as go around primary schools and teach it to youngsters and instead of physical but education how, how do you find it fucking hold on let me finish don't interrupt me i hate it when fucking women do that you know when you're in the middle you're like mid-sentence and they just snap straight in and just fucking ruin your flow Fucking hate it. You're training me. Um, it's going, it's going quite well. He looks really uncomfortable at this bit. Um, I, there's a couple of feedback points we can work on now, like maybe yeah, the pads a little bit too hard, your head's up yeah. a little bit, you know, but it's a work in progress. I think we'll get there. Yeah. So yeah, it's going really well. Basically, is what he's trying to say. Maybe I was watching a different video. That's not what he said, was it? But I can't keep my chin down all the time because then the cameras can't see. Okay, well it's important that you do keep your head down. Okay, you've got to keep your hands up and protect yourself. Okay, Guys, I don't know if you heard that, but protecting yourself is the most important thing in boxing. Oh, that's why. Tyson Fury will be watching this over and over and over and over again. Check her out, mate. I am Sophie Real. Yeah, you may be looking super piff and stuff, but... What the fuck did she just say? Super piff. Piff. What, what, what does piff mean? Uh, you've got to hide your face at all times. Hands up. You're going to give me two big hooks. Go. Good. Now put a jab on it and then two hooks. You ready? One. Is that forward? Like you said, you don't always have to throw a punch, but just so everyone knows that I can throw a punch, like if anyone does come at me. I am not an aggressive person at all, but I can be if I want to be. Fuck me. I, I wonder if it's a good idea uploading this video. <laughs> I can block a punch. <laughs> so what's like a shot I can do that's like the most like cool looking? Okay, so one of the most devastating punches in boxing is going to be a liver shot, I, okay? I think livers are a bit too gross, something a bit more like... Okay. Well, why ask the coach a question and when he gives you his advice, you tell him that's... <laughs> okay, so something for the head then, we can target the neck area, okay? Cool, so we cool, aim behind yeah. the ear when we box. Okay, we're not aiming for the jaw, we're aiming around the back. But is so, it like a good swing? It's a really good swing, it's a knockout punch. You're going to send the head that way and the head the other and you're going to cool. fall and okay, sink. Show okay, show me how to do that. B-roll of her taking Instagram selfies. Thanks for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, follow my gram, check me out, we've got some really exciting things coming up, peace and love. So there you are, that is what it's like being Sophie. Now I hope I, Sophie, I'm sure you'll probably see this, um, I, I feel I haven't gone in too much, um, it's purely for the banter, this is what my channel's all about. Um, just, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what else to say really. It's just, um, that's what it's like being, having a super rich daddy, um, and being able to stay at home all day and, and do fuck all basically. Um, and be, and be clever in business, obviously. 
Um, what I would have liked, just my own personal preference, and I do say that a lot, personal preference, cha ching um, I would have liked maybe for you to elaborate more and show more about your own entrepreneurial and business ventures. Um, you know, because you obviously did say you are very clever in business, but I didn't actually see any evidence of, of any businesses that you've actually um, started and run and developed and made success for yourself. So maybe um, food for thought for one of your next, your future vlog, vlogs is maybe go around some of your assets and your businesses that you create, because um, people might be interested to see. So anyway, on that note, thank you guys for watching. Um, Thumbs up if you liked it. Sophie, thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and the bell because I will be back very, very soon. Probably sooner than you'd like. <laughs> but you've got to be consistent in this world, yeah? Um, yeah, and that's it. So that is another episode of Real Talk Baby. Only the strong survive. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day. Love you all, guys. Take care. Catch you soon. Real talk.